All right, guys, here we are on page five of the notes that you have on circles. So far, we've seen circumference. We saw arc length, which is a part of circumference. Then the last videos, we saw area. And now here we're seeing sector, which is a part of area. So just how like the arc of the circle here is part of the whole circumference of the circle, then the sector area is just like part of the whole area. And again, you can think of it like, let's say I knew the area of this circle was 100. And I knew that this sector was, let's say, 38% of the area. Then I could just say, well, 38% times the total area, which is 100, would give me this, which would be 38 uh, centimeters squared. That's really all we're doing here. Except again, because it's a circle, we don't talk in terms of percent. We talk about degrees, which you could think of as per 360 instead of per 100, right? So here, if I have 120 per 360, 120 over 360, then I could find the area of this whole circle and multiply it by 120 over 360. Right here, since I know how to find the area, I take the radius here, 25, and I do pi r squared on it. I say pi times the radius squared. I do pi times 25 squared, and then I multiply that by whatever percent this is of the circle. Right? This one here, this is about 33 and a third percent. So I'd get the area, pi times 25 squared, and multiply that by 33.333%, and that would give me the area. But again, I don't use 33%, I use 120 per 360, which is the same thing. Okay? So let's just get used to using that to find sector area here. See these examples we have to start out. We have example number one, which is asking us to find the sector area for each of these here. Okay. Here I've got a radius of 41 centimeters and I've got a central angle of 70. So let's say, all right, what's the area? Pi times the radius squared. Area is equal to pi times the radius squared. Area is equal to pi times the radius squared. If the radius is 41, then that means I just replace the r in this little formula with 41. And then now on this side here, pi is a number, 41 is a number, 2 is an exponent. This is all just calculation to be done. So let me do pi times 41 squared. 41 squared times pi. Remember, I do the 41 squared first because of bed mass. Then I multiply by pi, and I get this, 5,281.02 centimeters squared. That's the area of my whole circle. But since I don't want the whole circle, I just want a percentage of it. Like this looks like it's maybe around 20%. But I don't say 20%, I say 70 per 360. I take this answer and I multiply it by 70 over 360. And it gives me this answer, right? 1,026.86 centimeters squared. So that's my answer. Area is 1,026.86 centimeters squared. Does this answer make sense to me? I have the right units. If the radius is seven centimeters, then the any area is going to be in centimeters squared. And I've got an area that's a lot less than the total area of the circle, which makes sense. If I had an area of the sector that was bigger than the total area, actually, let me make this a little bit clearer here. When I say area, I actually mean a little scary. I actually mean sector area. I guess you can just write the sector is 1,026.86 centimeters squared. All right, so far so good. I just find the area of the circle and I multiply it by a fraction. And the fraction is just like a percent, except it's over 360, 70 over 360. So far, so good. You remember, this is exactly how we started out with the arc, because it works the same way. I'm just saying not how much of the circumference is this arc, but how much of the area of the disk is this sector. And you remember after we did that first example, when we were doing with arc, I said, all right, there's a formula I want you to remember in case you have to do it backwards. And this is the way that formula is going to look. It's going to look like this. You'll see it's similar in a lot of ways. It's that sector 
over the total area of the circle is going to be proportional to the central angle over any guesses. I bet you know what goes here, 360 degrees, right? So this is the formula you need to know. I'm going to put it up here. Sector over area equals x over 360. Sector over the area equals x, which is the central angle. It's just x over 360. And you remember that the area here, in case we need it, the formula for the area is pi r squared for right here. So let's use that in this one here. I've got a radius of 127 centimeters, 